Music of Satyajit Ray Program Producing and Audio Mastered by Chamara Nugaliyatta Narrated by Rahul Singh Satyajit Ray was born in 1921 in a Bengali Brahmo family that boasted almost incredible amounts of talent. His grandfather Upen Kishore Ray was as much a renaissance man as his close friend Rabindranath Tagore. Straddling the worlds of science and arts, he was a printing technologist and inventor, an extremely gifted painter and violinist, flute, bakwas player, and possibly the greatest children's writer Bengal has ever produced. my main interest was stars i was really a film fan and i used to read magazines like picture gore and photo play and film pictorial and things like that but then gradually i think early years in college i became more and more interested in uh the the directorial aspect of filmmaking i uh, became aware of the director and i was reading up on people like john ford and ernst lubitsch and william wyler and frank capra and um looking for uh their speciality in a film their their sort of special characteristics i saw whatever john ford films that i could get to see and um then even later early 40s late 30s the hollywood comedies and the hollywood thrillers and uh, very hard edged films like the billy wilder films of the early 40s double indemnity in lost weekend and the uh, comedies like major and the minor uh leo macarius comedies like with kerry grant and irene dunn which were very very fine i have reseen them on television and they are still marvelous and the frank capra films of the 30s like um, it happened one night and mr smith goes to washington and all the others So they were very very well crafted films so my education really is based on these extremely well written well directed well shot well acted films of the 30s and 40s the thorough gentleman that he was they never bore any grudge against them nor commented about them instead he decided to compose music for his films they felt that though the maestros were matchless musicians they had limitations in composing for films ideally i think the director should be aware where music would be needed in his film this is i'm talking of the ideal situation where the, where it is assumed that the director knows about music is conscious of music and also knows where his films would call for music 
but of course the ideal situation doesn't always uh, exist and you have directors who have very little conception of music where of course he has to depend entirely on the professional composers and there you have to assume that the professional composers is a competent composer but in my case of course um, since I've been aware of music uh, from a very early age and music has been my first love even before the cinema uh, and since I do my own composition I have very set ideas about where music should be used in a film. He notes that his affinity does not extend to Indian classical music, which he sees as improvised over time and essentially decorative rather than damn it. It builds up from a slow beginning to fast conclusion, becoming more and more intricate and ornamental in the process. It is Ray writes rather an Indian temple which builds up from a solid base, goes through narrower and narrower layers of ornamentation and ends up in the DG heights of its pointed pinnacle. After the introduction of sound, uh, in the very early days there was no music in films, as you can see. If you see the films of 19, early 1930s, there is often very uh, no music at all. But gradually the system of uh, background music came into being and the professional composers emerged and big orchestras emerged. And there was a period then in the 40s or late 30s when music uh, 
a film would be drowned in music. But even later, after that, of course, uh, a kind of balance was struck and music was used very, very discreetly. Unlike Indian music, Western music can depart from the tonic or sa. Much of the drama arises from his modulation of certain basic melodies from key to key. It is comparable to the change and variation occurring among the characters in a story. At the end, the music has to return to the tonic or sa, which is like the resolution of a conflict where one feels nothing more needs to be said as the drama has come to an end. <laughs>